Hello, this is a brief introduction to using the Citrix Computer Labs in the College of Engineering at the University of Arkansas. To begin with, I'm going to introduce you to the three basic pieces of information you're going to need to be successful. Number one is an email address, ineghelp at uark.edu. If you ever have a problem with the computer labs, just send an email to ineghelp at uark.edu and we'll respond to you and get your issues resolved for you. The second link is, is a link. It's to our uh, IT FAQ page in the Industrial Engineering Department. And that is where you can actually get uh, the Citrix workspace client that you'll need to run on your computer. And it also is where you can find this video and other helpful videos as well. And then the third link is uh, https colon slash slash ctx dash storefront uark.edu. And this is the link you'll need to actually get to the computer labs and use them. So with that information out of the way, I'm going to go to our IT FAQ page and I'm going to download and install the Citrix Workspace client. You can see here that there's one for Windows and there's one for Mac. And since we're using Windows today, I'm going to install the one for Windows. I'm going to save that. It's going to save to my Downloads folder. And then once uh, it's downloaded, I'm going to install it. This is a very straightforward install. We're just going to take all the defaults. Now I'm just going to click Finish. Now that the uh, workspace is installed, I'm going to go to the Citrix storefront, https colon slash slash ctx dash storefront dot uark dot edu. And here I'm going to sign in with my university username and password. And you don't need to put the at uark.edu, just the username itself. Now the first time uh, that you come to this page, it doesn't know if you have rece or the receiver or the workspace. It used to be called receiver, now it's called workspace. It doesn't know if you have that installed or not. So you can just click on detect and then just click already installed. Okay, so this is the introduction. I have three choices. I have my home screen where I can put favorites and when I put favorites they'll show up on my home screen. And then I have apps which are the various apps that are available. We're not going to talk about those in this video. We're really just going to talk about desktops. and. The college has different computer labs. Depending on which department and which courses you're enrolled in, you may see one or more of these different computer labs. Um, today I'm just going to uh, select a computer lab. The one that most people probably use is uh, the Faust computer lab. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is click the little star. That's going to make it a favorite. Um, I could also just click it and start it, but I made it a favorite so that when I go to my home screen it'll be there. And then the second thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on it to start it. And what that's going to do is um, connect to the Citrix receive or to the Citrix workspace and it will start up a lab session for me in that lab. And I'm going to set that to full screen. Now 
the first time that you connect to a particular computer lab it takes a little bit because it has to create a profile for you and subsequent logins after that would probably happen a little bit more quickly okay now we're connected the the only other thing that I want to show in this video is what to do um, where to find your applications um, every uh, lab computer has folders on the desktop that have the different applications that are available to you if you just open that you will see a pop-up that first comes up and whenever you see this pop-up I recommend that you choose read write access um, and this will allow you to pass files back and forth between the lab computers and the computer that you're connecting from and we'll cover that in a different video and then the applications are all right here if there's a particular application that you want to run um, well let's just do tech studio for example you just double click it and that's all there is to it now let's just assume that you've done whatever work you need to do and you've saved your work um, the only other thing that's left to do is to exit and to do that you just right click down here in the corner of the start button and choose either shut down or sign out it doesn't matter which one you can pick any one of these um, and that will exit your session